What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nerd Spillover, my second channel where all my non-comic book nerdy stuff spills over. Today, we are making a new enclosure for my avicularia, avicularia, pink toed tarantula. Oh yes, and since this is a brand new channel, sort of, I've only had, this is my third video. Could you go down below and subscribe? That'd be cool. So you're gonna need an enclosure. You're gonna need a piece of acrylic. That's what I use to um, replace the, the, the screen. You're gonna need some substrate and uh, even some more sub substrate. You're gonna want to get um, a hide. I use cork bark, but you can use whatever you want. I'm even gonna need some silicone, which I end up not using, but I got it to adhere the acrylic to the top. You're gonna need a hygrometer for, for humidity, some leaves if you want, and that is, uh, that is all. So the first thing I wanna do is replace this screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and put, no, I'll just put the acrylic here. I'm gonna replace it with this clear acrylic, which I'll silicone in here. The silicone I got isn't really recommended for terrarium use, but it's not gonna be in the terrarium, it's actually outside the terrarium, so it's not really that big of a deal for the spider. It's not gonna be touching it. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna measure this and then put those measurements on here and cut this out. So let's do that. So we got rounded bits here, and there's this little piece here, if you can see that. This little piece here, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but there's a little like outcrop. So I'm gonna get my Dremel, I'm gonna round the edges of this, and then uh, cut these shape out, because I don't want to alter the cage, I just want to alter this. All right, turns out that I can't, my Dremel's, doesn't want to work anymore, so I'm gonna use my drill. Not really. Maybe I can alter this instead of this. It also adds a little bit extra air to air ventilation, which isn't something I needed, but it will. Let's do the other side. All right, I took the little hinges off that held the screen down because we didn't need them. Took those little bevels out because those were, I don't even know what those were for. I think it was just to position the screen, but we're not even using the screen. Now, I'm gonna take this out. And this way, it won't, I won't, it'll be harder to do with the stuff silicone to the top. I'm gonna go clean that out and work on the top. So I did a bunch of stuff off camera. I cut my pinky open pretty good. So I got a rubble Paw Patrol Band-Aid. But I've decided to not use silicone to hold this in. I got a really good, whoop, I got a really tight fit on this. And I took out a little chunk here because those things I cut out were actually for the door to move. So that's what that was for. But it's a really tight, light, tight little fit. Let's jam it in there. See? So that way if I ever need to take the top off to get to the tarantula or to rehouse or something, it'd be a really good idea for me to be able to take this, take it out and put it back or whatever. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark dots all over it for where I'm gonna drill the air hole. So I marked off every inch. And so everywhere the grid crosses, I'm gonna drill a hole. And there's all the holes drilled in. Very nice looking, I think. Now let's peel off the protective coating. Great. 
Yeah, like that. Next, we're going to take all these cut-up pieces of pork bark that we cut and glue them to the inside of that enclosure. So next thing I want to do is I want to take some of these leaves and put them on the back here, some of them under here, just to make it look a little more realistic. So, check. so that's pretty easy, all you gotta do is pop them off of here like that. Get a whole bunch of them, glue them throughout randomly. While the bee dries, we need to make our substrate mix and put it in the enclosure. So I put in cocoa fiber and a bunch of cocoa fiber. Mix it with the bark. Because the bark holds humidity really well. And where I live, it's very dry. So before you tell me, I don't need to worry about humidity, I do, because the humidity will get down to zero in there. So, I need something that can hold the humidity. And the bark is pretty good. And you can get this cocoa bark, not cocoa bark, this bark, and you can get this at any local pet store. I got mine from Petco. Hey guys. No, not that Petco, the store Petco. So, mix it up nice and good. Nice and pretty looking. Here's my mixture, and I'm gonna pour it in. I'm uh, probably gonna need more. It's just about done. This is air holes here, so I didn't want to cover these up to get the ventilation, cross ventilation through. So it goes up to right about the bottom. It's, it's less in here, so the spider has room to climb around in there. There's a water dish up there. Okay, I have to go and install my hygrometer. I have a digital one for my grandma stole the polka peas, but I can't cut a hole in this, so I have to use this one. And like I said before, where I live, humidity can get down to zero, so I have to have some humidity, even though it's not very important with avicularia, arboreal spiders in there. Comes with a sticky pad, peel it off, stick it around the hole, right here in the middle. So now I'm gonna fill up the water dish. I only use purified water or spring water, bottled water only for my spider. This will keep the humidity, and if she needs a drink when she gets in there, I'll also be refilling it. I gotta get a syringe or something. Oh, that needs to go up. I'll level that out. Please hold. I just realized I forgot to put this piece in, which I wanted right here. Add in some, make it look better, a little bark, so it looks more like the floor of the forest. Lastly, I'm going to spray it all over, get that humidity up. One spray lasts about a month or so, and she's gonna go in there in less than a week, because she's molted, 
Wednesday, so next Wednesday we'll go in there. So spray it all over. do it. So now we're in the spider view. That's what we could call it. Here's the bottom substrate. There's her hide. She can climb up into her hide like there. And that's the water there. She can come over here and get a drink of water. And then go back to her hide. Pretty good. All we need to do is now is add a tarantula to it, which I can't do yet because she's not hardened up for molting. Here's my only two videos if you'd like to watch those. Here's my subscribe button if you want to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to talking again. I'll see you next time.